The XB-70 Valkyrie was a revolutionary experimental supersonic bomber developed by North American Aviation, later North American Rockwell, and eventually Northrop, for the United States Air Force, USAF. During the Cold War era, its development aimed to meet the requirements of a long-range strategic bomber capable of flying at high speeds and altitudes to avoid enemy defenses. The XB-70 program, although ultimately canceled before full production, left a lasting impact on aviation technology and aerodynamics. In the late 1950s, the USAF initiated the requirement for a bomber with Max 3 speed capabilities. North American Aviation won the contract and began work on the XB-70 in the early 1960s. The aircraft had a distinctive delta wing shape and could achieve speeds of up to Mach 3.1, making it one of the fastest aircraft of its time. Its six General Electric VEJ-93 engines each capable of producing 30,000 pounds of thrust, powered the XB-70 to its astonishing speeds. The Valkyrie's delta wing design offered several advantages, including reduced drag at high speeds and increased lift capacity. However, it also presented significant engineering challenges, particularly related to the extreme heat generated during high-speed flight. To address this issue, the aircraft's forward sections were composed of titanium, capable of withstanding the intense heat from air friction. The XB-70's first flight occurred on September 21, 1964, piloted by North American aviation test pilots Al White and Joe Cotton. The aircraft performed exceptionally well during its initial test flights, but tragedy struck in 1966. While on a test flight with an escorting F-104, the Valkyrie collided with a smaller aircraft, resulting in the loss of the F-104 and the death of the XB-70's co-pilot. Following the accident, the program faced budget constraints and increased development costs. The original plan to build 150 aircraft was deemed impractical, and the project was scaled back to just two prototypes. Eventually, the XB-70 program was cancelled in 1969, primarily due to the rise of intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs, as a more cost-effective means of strategic deterrence. Although the XB-70 Valkyrie never saw active service as a bomber, its development significantly contributed to advancements in aviation technology. Research from the program aided the understanding of aerodynamics at high speeds and altitudes, which proved invaluable in designing future aircraft. Elements of the Valkyrie's design and technology also influenced subsequent aircraft projects, notably the development of the SR-71 Blackbird reconnaissance aircraft. Today, while the two XB-70 prototypes are no longer operational, they remain significant artifacts of a bygone era in aviation. One prototype is on display at the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Dayton, Ohio, and the other at the Northrop Grumman facility in Palmdale, California. The XB-70 Valkyrie stands as a testament to the ambitious pursuit of pushing the boundaries of aerospace technology and the vision of a supersonic bomber that ultimately left an indelible mark on aviation history.